In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to select those hard to select objects. I'll be using Inkscape version 0.48. Inkscape has many different object selection methods that can be used for a variety of situations. So let's get started. The first thing to do is to enable the selection tool by pressing the select button, which is this arrow button right here or you can press the F1 key to accomplish the same thing. Then to select a single object like the bell on this clock I just press the left mouse button and it selects that. If I want to select multiple objects without unselecting the current selection then I press and hold the shift key and then I can go to another object like this other bell here and left click that and now I've got both of these selected and I can just continue doing that while holding the shift key and left click on other objects and so I can select multiple objects using this method. If I then click on one of these objects that I've previously selected while still holding the shift key then it will deselect that single object that I click on. If I want to deselect all the objects that I have selected, then I can just press the escape key. I can also select multiple objects by pressing down the left mouse button and holding it while I drag. Then all of the objects that are inside this square, that are completely enclosed inside the square, when I release the left mouse button, will be selected. I'm going to press the escape key now to deselect these items. Now let's say that I want to select the hands on this clock. If I were to just press the left mouse button and then drag, instead of creating a rectangle around these hands and then selecting the hands, it actually moves what was under the left mouse button when I pressed it. So let me press Control Z here to move this back. So to prevent that from happening, if I press and hold the shift key, then I can press and hold the left mouse button while I drag, and then I get my selection box. And now you'll see that I've selected both hands of the clock, as well as this little button in the middle here, as well as some other shapes that I have underneath it for shadow effects. So again I'm going to press the escape key to deselect these objects. So let's say that I want to select this number 12 right here. If I click on it here you'll see that instead of selecting the 12 it selects this shading that I have right here to give a glare effect. So what I can do is hold down the Alt key and then when I press the left mouse button it will select the object that's underneath the currently selected object. And I can press it again and I can get the object that's under that and I can press it again and I get the object that's under that and it'll keep going down to lower and lower objects until it gets to the bottom and then it'll start back up at the top again. So as you can see if while I'm still holding the Alt button, if I just drag this object off to the side here, you can see the object that was actually selected. Since you're actually selecting objects underneath other objects, sometimes it can be a little difficult to tell which object that you actually have selected. So there is a method that you can use that helps you determine what object you actually have selected. So let me press Control Z and put this back into place. So right now if I press on this top object here I can look down at the fill and stroke and I can see that the color of this is a gradient. And so that gives me a clue of what I actually have selected. I can also look at the notification region here and it tells me that I have a path that includes four nodes selected. And so that's another clue for what I actually have selected. So if I go back up here, I press and hold the Alt key and click it again. 
I mean, it's kind of obvious that we have the number 12 selected, but you can also go down here and look at the fill color and see that it's black. And the notification region says that I have text selected. Then if I press and hold the Alt key while I click this again, now you can see that I have a gray object selected and it's a path with seven nodes. And you can just continue on pressing and holding the Alt key while you hit the left mouse button to select different objects. And then just look down here at the color of the fill and stroke and a description in the notification region here to help you to determine exactly what you have selected. So I'm going to press the escape key now to deselect these objects. Now another technique that you can use to select objects is to hold down the Alt key as we just did, but this time press the left mouse button and drag. And when you do this, you'll see that I get a red line. And whatever that red line touches when I release the left mouse button, all of those items are selected. And then if I want to add more objects to the selection using the same method, I can press and hold the Shift key, and then press and hold the Alt key, and then press the left mouse button again and drag, and you'll see another red line, and everything that that red line touches when I release the left mouse button will be selected. So if I take this selection that I've just made and move it off to the side, you can see that all of those objects were easily selected. So I'm going to go ahead and press Control Z to put everything back. And I'll also press the Escape key to deselect everything. And now let's say that I wanted to select everything that's on this current layer. I can do that if I press Control A. And now I've got everything on this layer selected. And this particular drawing happens to be all on a single layer, so it selects the entire drawing. If I were using multiple layers, then I could press Shift Control A to select everything that's on all of the visible and unlocked layers. Well, as you can see, Inkscape offers many different methods for selecting objects. Well, thanks for watching this video, and please leave a comment and let me know if there's an Inkscape video that you would like to see. Have a great day!